Hello guys, my name is Roberto Palma, I am level 2 maximal support and today I'm gonna show you that it is possible to have some failed attribute changed based on a condition and in order to show you that I'm using the assets application so in assets application we have some fields uh, for example one of them is the serial number as you can see for the asset uh, 11 third 300 so what I'm gonna show you is uh, how you can create a condition to make that condition validated and to be possible to change the user attribute on a field so the first step here is uh, to create a condition in the conditional expression manager as you can see I created the condition to validate if the asset number is 11 200 after that, I'm going to change the field that I want to modify in the application designer because I want to make sure that the serial number gets required when the asset number is 11200. And in order to do that, in the canvas for the asset application, to just go and change the properties for the serial number field, as you can see. So click on the field, right click on properties and actually before that you need to create a sig option so i'm going to create a sig option because this sig option needs to be attached to the field so just create a basic one check asset and let's put a description like uh, you know uh, something related to the verification or the validation on the asset information that i'm saying that and we are going to use this SIG option to associate with the field and your security group needs to have access to this security option. Otherwise, the field will not be visible. But what I, what I want to change here is not whether it's going to be visible or not. I'm going to make this required. So when I go on properties for that field, on the Devastive tab, you just go and put your SIG option in place. So let's put check asset and configure conditional properties. You are going to tell Maximo that when your condition is met for the, let's use just the everyone group because I'm going to do this applied to all of the users. And uh, when that condition placed checks the validation of the asset num 11200, you need to say what happens when that is true. And I'm going to enter a new property. So when the condition is true, I need my input mode set to required considering this condition. I click OK. And then you just save this record in the application designer because those are the changes that you implemented in the asset application. And the last step here is to make sure that your security group has access to this permission. So let's just select the everyone group here and go to the application tab, search for the application called asset. And you gotta make sure that the SIG option that you created is given it's given as uh, authorized for this security group. Otherwise, you will not be able to see the field. So, you just grant access to that. Save record. After that, you log off Maximo. When you sign back in, you just go to the assets application and I expect that field to be required only when the asset number is 11200. So let's just select a random asset here. And as you can see, the serial number field is not required. However, if I enter 11200, my serial number field is required, which means that if I try to save this record without avoiding that field, I'm not able to do. But if I put back the value and save, it should work. And if I look for another asset here, which is not 11200, I should be able to save this information without the information in the serial number. 
Okay. So that's the tip for today's guy. Thank you. Bye.